tēnā koutou katoa. Thank you for joining me and taking the time to learn about one of 10 amazing girls from around the world who are making a difference not only in their communities but also within their whānau as well. I hope you enjoy learning about Aki and I also hope you find joy, motivation and inspiration in her story or at the very least admiration for her enduring perseverance. Thank you to World Vision uh, for allowing me to be part of such a beautiful project and reading one of the stories from one of these incredible girls from this book, Stories from Girls Who Dared to Dream, tales from around the world of girls who never gave up. All right, bear with me because I've never read a book on social media before. But anyway, this is Aki's story and Aki is from Bangladesh. Not all heroes wear capes, but sometimes they wear a mask. Aki is 17 years old and a real life hero who doesn't just wear a mask, she makes them. Aki grew up in a big city in Bangladesh. She lives with her parents and two sisters in a small one room house crowded together with many other patchwork houses. Aki's dad worked in a shrimp processing factory until he had a bad accident and could no longer work. With no money to buy food or pay the bills, Aki was forced to work in the factory with her mum and her older sister. The factory stank and the chemicals they used there made it hard to breathe. These chemicals often gave Aki a headache and her hands had sores from the hard work. But even though they worked from 5 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock at night, Aki's family still couldn't earn enough to eat three meals a day. Worst of all, because she had to work, Aki missed her last three years of school. Without an education, Aki didn't know how she could leave the shrimp factory she knew she had to try. One day she heard about school catch-up classes being held at a community centre. She loved these classes and with help from the centre she decided to apply to return to school. But multiple schools rejected her because of her age. You're too old, they all said. Aki could have given up but she didn't. She thought, what else can I do? She settled on becoming a business owner. She would learn to sew and start her own tailoring business from home. She dreamed that one day she would own an entire garment factory. A few months later, armed with a training, a sewing machine and a pile of fabric, Aki was working hard on her dream. She says, I kept receiving orders for shirts and children's dresses and from social media I learned to make flower vases, mats and small bags with recycled paper and beads. People loved her creations and Aki's business was booming. With the extra income her family could finally afford meat, fish and delicious fresh fruit. Then the COVID-19 pandemic. Everything came to a standstill. My mum and sister couldn't work in the shrimp factory and I couldn't keep my store open, Aki said. Still, Aki didn't give up. She looked for a new opportunity. The market had no face masks and masks were expensive to buy from stores. Many people in our community couldn't buy them, said they. I decided to make masks and sell them for a low price so everyone could afford them. If people have no money, I give them masks for free. That's how Aki became a real life hero. She even won an award from the United Nations for keeping people safe COVID-19 with her masks. So Aki, managed to find hope and inspiration in the dark times and I hope you too have found hope and inspiration in her story to pursue whatever goals or whatever dreams you have. If you want to learn more about the other incredible nine girls in this book, download a free digital version at wbnz.org.nz forward slash beard dash two dash three. Now I'm going to